Hello everyone, it's your boy Vexterity XD, and welcome to race 7 of the NASCAR Marshall Energy Cup Sim Racing Series Season 6. Now, previously, Bubba Wallace Jr. won his uh, first sim race. And also, one more thing I gotta point out. <coughs> Sorry, uh, just, just had to clear my throat for a second there. Hang on a second, just, just gotta go on my phone for a second. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna check something real quick. Should have done this before, but I already started, so you know, there's no turning back here. I just want to say, oh, uh, never mind. Uh, I just want to check if I reach fifty thousand channel views yet, but um, apparently, no, I'm at uh, forty-nine thousand five hundred. But thanks for, but thank you guys for that anyway. <coughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a fifty thousand view special or something like that, like a Fortnite episode or some or some stuff. Anyway, this uh, this was gonna be thirty five laps. We're gonna be pitting between laps uh, fourteen through fifteen and uh, twenty nine and uh, twenty eight through twenty nine. Yep, that's going to work out muy bueno. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Fooled you again. These are our contenders. We got Kyle Bush, popularly known as Bushy Bushy. We got Chase Elliott, Jimmy Johnson, DJ Kennington, Daniel Hemrick, and Bubba Wallace Jr. Our seventh contender will be on the way. All right, let's go. One more thing, despite the fact. Also, despite the fact that Matt Kenseth has taken over the six, unfortunately, he won't be featured in sim racing because Trevor Bain still has a majority of starts. Trevor Bain has 11, and Matt Kenseth will, would only have one. I mean, he may be featured if he somehow uh, completely replaces Trevor Bain for the season and gets more rides than him. Anyway, lap three, Brennan gone as your leader. There's a lot of passing action going on. Chris Buescher takes the lead. And his teammate, A.J. Allmendinger. Oh, I was just about to say that teammates are one and two. JTT, De uh, God, the team name is such a tongue twister. JTG Darty Racing. Uh, we're one and two. Here's Jamie McGuire. Oh, Brendan gone back into the lead. A lot of passing action in Talladega. That's why I kind of like this track. <clears throat> Looks like Brennan Gons in a good spot now. Also in a good spot is Danica Patrick at number 7. Remember what I said. Despite her retiring this season, she'll be featured in all of our Cup Series, Sim Racing Series, until 2019. Up oh, and uh, David Reagan takes the lead. Last time the 38 car was here, um, uh, um, uh, he got beat on the last lap by Ryan Ellis, who's currently running mid-pack right now. Remember, everyone's uh, not not too far behind from each other, so even the last place car has a shot to win. Austin Dillon closing in on David Reagan, Trevor Bain and Derek Hope. Are in second and third. Oh, here comes Ty Dillon all the way down. <clears throat> Swooping down to the inside. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little. Here's Landon Castle in the 30. And uh, let's see who takes the lead right now. Far wide for the lead with Trevor Bain in the lead. Uh, 14, 15, okay. Trevor 
Trevor Bain's still in the lead. Let's see if Trevor Bain can get a win here. And also Joey Gase in the 33. How about him? We haven't mentioned him too much. But he's the one challenging right now. He's in third. <coughs> uh, until Logan did that. Okay, but anyway, let's go on to Pit Road. We are pitting. <clears throat> All positions are almost still the same, except it's uh, Landon Castle, the 30 car, still in the lead. Greg Golding has made his way up. Oh, and Ryan Ellis has made his way up too. Ryan Ellis is one of the winningest drivers in the sim racing community on Vixterity XD. And, uh, whoa, up to fourth he goes. Up to third. Will he go up to the lead and take it from, the, from Landon Castle? No, he won't. Logano uses him as a pick. But Ryan Ellis still manages to lead that lap. Unbelievable. Ryan Ellis is... He's winning so much. It's like it's like we can't stop him. Rick Ware racing cars are are both um are both are both moving towards the front. Casey Kane is in the lead right now. <laughs> Making blocks on Ryan Ellis. But here comes Landon Castle, back in the 30. And, ooh, he almost takes the lead, but Casey Kane shuts him down. It's a four-man race for the lead right now. Here's the 92 of David Gilliland. Or Gilliland or Gilliland. Whatever the heck you want to call it. Doesn't really matter, because it's the same name, yo. <coughs> Ryan Ellis, still in the lead. Lana Castle and uh, Casey Kane are uh, still within striking distance. So is Logano and Jamie McMurray. McMurray with the inside advantage, but he doesn't take it. Joey Gates uses it perfectly, however, as he moves into sixth, getting a great inside run. Ryan Ellis still is in the lead. But can they but can they all stop him? Derek Cope getting a big push to the inside. Up to second he goes. Cars 93 and 99 are battling for the lead right here. With 10 laps to go. <clears throat> Eric Almirola, the 10 car, joining in. He's moved up into the top eight. Joy Gis with another good run. But it's but it doesn't seem to be enough. He he needs more if he wants to win this race. Oh, he gets more. And more. And now he's up to fourth. Up, up he goes. Can he go to third? Oh, he goes to second. Jo Joey Gates goes to second. Can he take the lead in that black number 33? It'd be nice. Besides, we never had a car number 33 win in sim racing. But, wow. This is one intense race. We're going to let them go one more lap until we pit. It's a, it's a five-way battle for the win here. Who will win and who will lose? That is the question. That will be answered within these next five laps. Derek Culp has a big lead going into lap 31. Jamie McMurray is trying to catch up. Along with him is Greg Golding. Casey Kane lost too many spots on pit road for him to recover. And so has Ryan Ellis, unless he pulls off a miracle. Oh, William Byron is just doing that now. Can Derek Cope win? 
Or will Jamie McMurray and, or someone else do it? They're all ganging up. It's almost like they're working together. Let's see who's going to win this one. They're getting closer. William Byron has inside advantage. Can he use it? No, he doesn't. We're coming out of the white flag, everyone. One more lap to go. Who is going to win this race? Here comes Jamie McMurray to the inside. Can McMurray pull off one last try? Here comes Jamie McMurray to the inside. Can he hold off William Byron? Oh, here's William Byron to the inside. And William Byron on the final lap holds off Jamie McMurray and Eric Almirola to win at Talladega. What a finish. McMurray almost had it, but he thought he had the good outside run. But William Byron formed a third lane and pushed him back down onto the outside lane. Unbelievable move by William Byron. And with that, three out of the four Hendrick cars have qualified for the chase. There's still one more. That's Alex Bowman. That's it for race seven. This is why I love Talladega. Now, you may have to wait a little bit until race eight because of, uh, we're doing it at the Charlotte Roval, and, I'm gonna, and, I need to, and I need to build that. I need to build the Charlotte Roval. Yeah, I, I have to build it myself. McMurray. And Jamie McMurray gets foiled again for a win. But don't worry. There, he still has two more chances to win. In race 8 and race 9. Because they're the last two races until the playoffs. But William Byron is your winner. Both Rookie of the Year candidates have won. Well, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.